Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Tarot and Oracle for the Soul. I will be doing a walkthrough of the Halloween Tarot. Now this deck is by Kipling West. It's a 78 card deck features many spooky characters and the minor arcana suits are pumpkins, bats, ghosts, and imps. Now I don't usually like it when tarot systems change the suits from cups, swords, wands, and pentacles, but this one it's pretty intuitive so it doesn't really bother me. Now this deck came with a little white book, however I have misplaced it <laughs> so I can't show you the little white book but it's your classic little white book I purchased this book used now I don't know if it came kind of soiled already or if I spilt water on it but I am a little bummed that the little white book has gotten misplaced or lost in our move but with this deck you have this kind of intro card to the Halloween tarot that says welcome to Halloween so with the book it says that the artwork is by Kipling West and the book is by Karen Lee we'll start out by looking at the book and if I remember correctly the little white book was pretty similar so um, this was copyrighted by US Games in 1996 we have the introduction, the history of Halloween, Halloween symbols and traditions, the Halloween tarot, reading the cards, the major arcana, the minor arcana. So pumpkins are pentacles, ghosts are, let me look. I have to, I haven't used it yet this year. Okay, so chalices are um, ghosts, they represent water. Bats are swords and imps are wands for fire so see it's pretty easy i just had forgotten so you have an intro by karen lee right here then we have the history of halloween halloween symbols and traditions trick-or-treating jack-o-lanterns ghosts and skeletons which is in black cats. Fortune telling, and then the Halloween tarot, reading the cards. You have a simple three card spread, the ancient Celtic cross, and then it goes into the major arcana, what it is, and then each card. You have a black and white photo, and then the fool, you have the uh, like what this card is, and then the divinatory meaning and the reverse. And then it's pretty similar for the minors. We have what the minor arcana is, and then the pumpkins, what they represent. And so this says the ancient element earth, the pumpkins describe all things that are physical and tangible. So we get one page with a black and white photo and then the, a little bit about the card and then the divinatory meaning and reverse. There are pages at the end. Oh, that's cool. We have more books about Halloween and tarot. So there's children books and then other books. And then about the artist, Kipling West, and then about the author, Karen Lee. We have some pages for notes. Does anyone actually fill these in? I never do. So let's see. 137 would be about the artist and author. So the cards are a little long, but not too bad. These are the backs. I like the quality. They're bendy, but not too bendy. They're not too thick. Now I don't have these in order. I apologize. So like I said, you have the intro card just about the Halloween tarot. And because I do use this deck every year, I do not have it organized. So I apologize.
Has anyone gotten their first pumpkin spice latte of the season yet? Or started going and buying Halloween decorations or their costume yet? I like that the Queen of Ghosts is a mermaid. That's actually really cool. Do you guys like systems and tarot decks that change the minor arcana? Oh, we had another intro card in here. <laughs> It's good because they do give you cards where, you know, this is obviously the wand. You see the wand with the fire or the staff with the fire. And then the amps, obviously, I mean, <laughs> it, it, this one's pretty intuitive and it follows. The Rider weight pretty closely. So with the images, just making, you know, adding pumpkins instead of pentacles. Um, but a lot of the scenes in the background are the same as the Rider weight. So it makes it pretty easy. I mean, this is, you know, almost identical to the Rider weight, except you had the add the black cat and um, change some colors. Um, but this infinity sign with the pumpkins, it's almost identical. Just like the the hand and the rider weight would be holding out the ace of pentacles. So very, very similar. So it's this deck, even though they took, you know, creative license and it's cartoony and fun and Halloween-y, um, it still follows the rider weight like I like this sun with the sunflowers and the black cats and the skeletons. It's it's cute. And this high priestess. The moon <laughs> with a werewolf. That's pretty cool. I like this one. Temperance. And a pretty non-scary death card, which is nice. I think there's like a trick or treat tarot and I've been debating about getting it but my thing is I already have a Halloween tarot like how many Halloween tarot decks do you really need and when I was reading tarot professionally most of my readings were on love um it is funny I've watched other tarot readers I don't remember who it is who used to like to use kind of like Halloween or vampire uh, decks in her love readings because I mean it kind of reminds me of I just read it ends with us and you know that book is marketed as being a romance however I think the marketing is wrong it should be marketed as a horror I mean it's a fine line between romance and horror is it's such a fine line <laughs> so uh, and especially what you know, people used to consider romance was actually like stalking and really toxic behavior from people. And that used to be put in movies as being romantic and books. I'm glad that things are changing now. It's just sad that some authors and some people still think that that's romance. But that book is really going to ha haunt me for a while, I think. I read it a few weeks ago and it's still seared in my brain. I just read another book called uh, Not Like Other Girls and it deals with a younger girl, almost like, you know, Lily, uh, and with it ends with us her flashbacks to when she was like 15 
this girl's 17, but she's flashing back to 15 and events that happened to her. And it also deals with essay and, uh, but the author's note, I really like that the way that the book is ends and the author's note, the author has really done the work. She's gone to counseling and she's worked through her issues. So I would, I think if I had a daughter, I'd rather have her read not like other girls rather than any Colleen Hoover book ever. All right, so this was the flip through of the Halloween tarot. Let me know if you've used this deck in the past and your thoughts. And if you have multiple Halloween tarot decks, do you use them outside of Halloween? And do you recommend any other decks besides this one? Because I do really have fun with this deck. I, I love how kind of whimsical and classic the cartoon art is. Like the Six of Pumpkins is awesome. I love this cat costume and this woman dressed up as a witch and the pumpkins like the images are just to me so classic and I just really have fun playing with this deck so let me know in the comments down below thanks for watching please subscribe and like if you did like this video and I'll see you next time bye guys